right there. I did two extras. For progressive, I like maps with Moscow Advanced. Moscow Advanced. I'm trying to think about Moscow. I don't do Moscow a lot, so... Actually, I don't think I... I've done Moscow, I just don't know what the map looks like. I haven't done it enough to know what it looks like. But Moscow Advanced would be a cool map. Lots of territories and you can set up... Oh, I'm the first to go. Alright. Oh, we are the first to go. We're in the bottom. Man, I really need to deter someone from going here. I need to deter Olympic, of all people. And I don't want to lose a position up here. Let me put two here. We'll put the rest uh, right here. Oh, <laughs> I'm kind of concerned of what's going to happen. I don't want these guys to like uh, fight for me down here. Let me stay up here just in case uh, Olympic, Shamrock, or... Um, Pineapple wants to fight down there. If they do, it's uh, not going to be a good time for me. Oh, we have a 5 right here. I didn't see that 5. We have a 5 right there. I don't want to leave this this bottom piece. I would really like to play in the bottom if I can. Lots of territories and you can set up on the outside and be prepared to kill. Ooh. Yeah, maybe I should check out Moscow, because I don't recall what Moscow looks like. I think Moscow is like a circle, right? It's like a circle. I think I played uh, Capitals on Moscow, so I think I know what it might look like. I don't think you did, but your call, oh, well, thank you. No problem, Credo. I don't want you to think I'm not redeeming these, but I definitely redeemed it. <laughs> Alright, Polly just did another redemption, let me do this. All right, redeemed. Oh wow, Carrot took this. Is Carrot a bot? Oh my gosh, guys, I have alliances on. Uh... Okay, alliances changes everything. I don't like it when alliances are on. Moscow advance is like a circle. Strong bonus in the center, lots of routes around the outer ring. Alright, yeah, I think I know what Moscow looks like then. Because I definitely think I played a 1v1 in on Moscow for uh, Capitals. That's I think that's the only time I've done uh, Moscow's 1v1s. Redeem Polly's double, double or nothing. <laughs> I literally just redeemed it, man. Did you not see me <laughs> redeem that? Alright, we have uh, alliances on. I have to be careful with alliances on because if I get too big, then people are going to target me. Or, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this map is just a little too small to have an al We'll see. We'll see. I did, but double or nothing. Double or nothing? What are you talking about double or nothing? You want me to drink, uh, rehydrate again? What is Shamrock gonna do? Shamrock is gonna stay down here. Nice. That is what I wanted to see. Get all of our pals down here. Everyone can chill, chill down in the bottom of the map. Oh, Shamrock. Let's see it. Let's see. What Shamrock does. Alright, let's put some guys right here. Let's put guys right here. And I would like to push this guy uh, away. If I can. Okay, I don't think I should lo I'll lose that opportunity. Let's group this guy up. Let's group this guy up right here. I don't think anyone's going to pressure me. I don't think anyone's going to block me here. I want to get this 6 out. And I really hope Shamrock attacks Carrot. Carrot keeps the continent. Carrot does keep the continent, but um, 
I mean, what was I gonna do? I could, if I put my guys right here, right? I get I would have had seven, seven troops. Seven on four is not a hundred percent. It's not a hundred percent. So there's a possibility that I would have lost everything in this position. But Scarlet is right here with a nine. Someone needs to attack Carrot, and I was kind of hoping Shamrock would attack Carrot right here. Shamrock was the only one with a clean shot at it. Yeah, Shamrock could have easily uh, shot it with his 9, but I'm hoping that's what Shamrock does. But you know, you can't rely on someone else to do, <laughs> do the dirty work. Can't rely on these guys to do the dirty work, but I think having a third position might not be a bad idea. Right, I don't think I'm gonna fortify this guy anymore because he's pinched between Carrot who holds a continent, pinched between uh, Olympic who holds a continent, and pinched between the Scarlet Nine. If I put any guys here, I feel like there's a there's a there's a chance that I might lose this guy unless I can shoot this four out of here. If I could get this four out of here. If I can get this four out of here and group it up right here, that might not be a bad idea. Get this, get my guy away from this pressure, because I cannot challenge this. Let's see it, Shamrock. Shamrock fortifies right there, probably doesn't attack Carrot. Carrot's a bot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Carrot holds two continents. Carrot holds two continents. You know, if I if <laughs> this is why I don't like alliances, because I do not know who's allied with who. And uh this is gonna be an issue if no one takes away Carrot's bonuses. If I attack Carrot, whoever his ally is is just gonna crush me. I don't know. Let me get away from here. Maybe I can group up right here. Maybe that's a play. Maybe it's a better play if I group up right here. On this one. I'll group up on this point. But I think having a third position might be helpful. I want to get this six away from this, guys. These two might attack me. I don't know what Carrot's going to do. Oh, does Carrot attack Shamrock? Someone has to attack Carrot. But the fact that Carrot is uh, splitting his troops might give us an advantage. Oh, that I'm... Shamrock. Yeah, I'm not sure why Shamrock would take this unless he was allied. I think that was a, a very obvious what was going to happen, right? If uh, Shamrock wasn't allied with Carrot, Carrot holds two continents, why wouldn't Carrot attack Shamrock? But... <laughs> Olympic. Maybe Olympic is allied with Carrot. But uh, Shamrock has landlocked this 7. This 7 cannot do anything. It's pinched between these two ones, so... Shamrock is in a bad position. Alright, Olympic. Olympic came in a continent, fortifying down here. Who's a target? We can make a uh, pineapple a target. If this three gets wiped out, we pinch pineapple on three points right here on the left and the right and the bottom. Our alliance is on, yeah. Unlucky, alliances are on. We have the alliances on. I. The alliances is on because I turned it on for the 1v1 and the setting saves. That's why I hate switching be between 1v1s and uh, domination because I the settings sometimes stay on and I... <laughs> doesn't work out in my favor. But you know, it's alright. It's alright, we'll figure it out. Parrot is too strong for me to attack alone. Someone that holds a continent, more so Olympic. Since Olympic holds a kind, I really need Olympic to attack Carrot. Okay, rip that too. 
maybe they were allied, but it was a betrayal. Karen and Shara. You know, that is a good point. Oh, Scarlet. Wow, are these guys going to let me hold my territory? I think I'm going to get away with holding my territory because Carrot didn't attack this. Oh gosh. Scarlet. Oh, change of plans. I think I might set up to take out Scarlet. This 6 touches this too. And this 8 and my 5 right here. I think I could take out Scarlet. All right, Creo, let me re- Oh, Christina. Okay, good night, for real. Good luck with uh, the ranked grind. Thank you, Christina. Thank you for stopping by. All right, we can set up to take out uh, Scarlet. We'll set up to take out Scarlet. I don't know if we'll take out Scarlet. If uh, this six gets wiped out, we cannot take out Scarlet. So actually, let me do that. Let me assure that this six won't get wiped out. Let me position my six right here. And we get away with holding our triangle. That's awesome. We'll put uh, one guy here. We'll put the rest here. And we'll refortify right here so that way Scarlet doesn't attack me. At least we'll reduce the chances that Scarlet will attack me. If Scarlet focuses on taking this territory. No oh, man. Oh, Carrot attacks me. Okay. Carrot attacks me. Red and yellow are looking juicy. Yeah, red and yellow aren't looking uh looking like a a target. Carrot. Carrot's crazy. And I'm I'm actually blown away that Carrot's not attacking me. I can't believe uh, Carrot and Olympic aren't attacking me. Let's let's see Olympic attack me now. Yeah. Do we have a set? We have a we have a set. No one's turned in, so the bonus is super low. It's probably not worth it to eliminate players, but I definitely um I think I definitely have the position to eliminate Scarlet on his fourth card. We'll see. We'll see if anyone turns in on three. Because if I if I'm the first, I'm the first to go, so I automatically get the lowest bonus, unless anyone else turns in. If I eliminate uh, Scarlet, I get 4 plus 6, plus any bonuses I get. If I take out Scarlet, uh, where is it? Oh my gosh. Pineapple just took out Scarlet's other position. That <laughs> rip Scarlet. I, I want to see Scarlet take over this continent because I, I'm really tempted to attack. I'm really tempted to eliminate Scarlet on four cards. I get five troops on my turn. McKin, you're saying skip a turn. This seems like a really good time to skip an attack, maybe turn in for hopefully 15 instead of the four and take someone's three cards.
So the bonus is at 8. The bonus is 8. I can for sure take out Scarlet, right? And I'll have another turn in. Maybe. <laughs> turn in again for the 20 right away. So you're saying I don't attack. I don't attack Scarlet. If I don't take out Scarlet, would uh, anyone else take out Scarlet? Yeah, I get the 8, plus I'll get the 10. I'll get the 8 plus the 10, but that also might make me a target. That might make me a target if I don't take this guy out. Maybe I'll just uh, fortify everything right here. And we'll, uh, we'll t set up to take out Olympic. We'll try it out, we'll see. We'll see if this works. We'll set up to take out Olympic, if Olympic doesn't turn in. Let's see if everyone lets me keep my bonus. We'll, we'll get the 15 card bonus. Alright. I'll be honest, I've never played, uh, I haven't done this many times where I hold, where I don't attack. We'll see. I'll see if this works out. Let's see how this works out by not attacking. Well, it's about a 3-4 chance that red turns in next turn, so if not now, then probably never. Well, I guess two people turned in early, so you could get ASL4, because if, if I was to, if I was him, I would turn in next. I don't know if I get the Founder's Badge because Gifted Sub. I don't know if I get the Founder's Badge because of Gifted Sub. Uh, actually, uh, Credo, I don't think anyone else can get the Founder's Badge because I have more than 10 subs. I think the first 10 subs gets, uh... There's no way Olympic holds. Oh my gosh. Olympic turns in. Okay. Olympic turns in on 4 and is a bot. I think that's a bot playing. Olympic has left. I want to see who takes away my bonus. Oh, wow. Pineapple takes this. We all have uh, a continent. You know, I'm actually... <laughs> I'm actually surprised no one's going for an elimination. Let's see it. Let's see red turn in. I know Red cannot take me out, so I don't know if Red would try to attack me. I think this play is smarter if everyone played normal, normally and you were looking at the getting the 4. But we'll see how this works. Red definitely turns in, right? Yeah. Red turns in and please don't attack my 14. If he attacks this, that might be an issue. Not a big issue. I just feel like I might get targeted. Does he attack me? Oh my gosh, he was about to attack me. I seen those arrows going right for my my uh, triangle piece. And Shamrock's about it. Shamrock has left. Olympic has left. Shamrock and Olympic has left. Okay, it doesn't say Olympic's offline, but I think uh, he left. Okay. Oh my gosh, and Shamrock put his troops there. Shamrock put his troops there. Who turns in? Carrot? Okay. I think we'll attack that. We'll attack this. We have to take someone out. I just won a long fix unranked match. Very fun. Good night, everyone. Have a great stream and night, people. Thanks, Credo, for stopping by. I appreciate it.
All right. We uh, turn in. We have a bonus. We could take someone out on three cards, right? Who has three cards? Carrot? Carrot has 69. Holy cow. Carrot has 69? He could wipe people out if he wasn't split. Carrot attacks me, right? Why won't people attack me? Alright. Hopefully, uh... Oh, wow. Okay, he attacks Shamrock. I kind of wish my 10 was up here. Because I want to try to eliminate... Oh, no, wait. We don't want to take out Scarlet. We want to take out someone with three cards. So that's Carrot. Carrot. Pineapple. Oh, the bot attacks him. I think that saved me. I think, um... I think the bot attacking uh, Scarlet saved me from uh, getting attacked right here. You think I should take out Pineapple? Wow. Attack Pineapple. Okay, so if we play off a of probability, the chances of anyone having a set on 3 is le uh, not very likely. Right? Scarlet retakes that. He didn't get uh, his territory bonus. I don't think I take someone out on my next turn, but I need to set up to take someone out on my next turn. Your 10 is in a bad spot, actually. I guess the 16 is also blocked. The 16 is blocked, so what I want... I want my 10 to be right here, on the center. Okay, so there's a couple things I'm thinking. Either I attack forward and group up onto my 6, or I'm in a position to take out Pineapple. I won't be in a position to take out Shamrock anymore. I'll be in a position... I won't be in a position to take out Scarlet. I want to be in a position to take out uh, Pineapple and Scarlet. And I'm kind of thinking about attacking Shamrock right here. If I attack Shamrock right here... Uh... I don't know. I'm thinking about putting my guy right there. Let's see it. We set up Shamrock to be eliminated. Oh, and we got our bonus right there. Alright, we're in a position to take out Scarlet, uh, Pineapple. Not really Shamrock, more so, uh, Shamrock is in the hands of, uh, Carrot. And Carrot puts all of his troops right there. Let's see, let's see him take out, uh, Shamrock. I don't know if Carrot's a, a player that can- Carrot's a general. I don't think Carrot could, um... Oh, wow, okay, yeah, Carrot- <laughs> Carrot had the chance, but, uh... All right, we have to eliminate players because um, we need to lead into taking out a lot of carrot troops. So what I'm going to do is turn it. Oh wow, we have a set on three. We'll we'll turn in and eliminate players. All right, so there's a couple plays we can do. Right, we can take out uh, Shamrock. I mean uh, Scarlet. Oh, Pineapple turns in. Pineapple takes someone out, right? Pineapple's a good player. Pineapple has... Pineapple's not a general, so... Alright, Pineapple... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pineapple doesn't do anything either. Nice. Pineapple doesn't do it. I 
I think we'll take out Shamrock on four cards. Shamrock will have four cards. We'll take him out. And I really hope this 12 doesn't get annihilated. Nice. All right, so what we're going to do is we'll take out Shamrock on four cards. We'll be at seven. That'll bring us down to four. We just need to take out someone with one card. Oh my gosh, Scarlet's still not attacking me. I think Scarlet feels like we're allied or something. Um, but that is not the fact. All right, we take out both players. We take out Shamrock, Olympic, Scarlet, uh, Pineapple, and then Carrot does it. Carrot's in a good position. So um, we'll just finish off Carrot last. Right, because we'll be taking all the cards. I don't think Carrot would uh, know what to do. So That's what we take out. We take out the two bots. Shamrock and... Um... Yeah, I get all the cards right here, for sure. Let's take out Carrot, or Shamrock and Olympic. Right, and now we take out Olympic right here. We get a set, we take out Scarlet. Or, we know Pineapple won't turn, what if we try taking out... Alright, 20? I th Let's... Not underestimate this. Let's put all of our guys right here and we'll just go right into uh Garrett. Alright, we have another set, right? We don't have to worry about uh pineapple here. How many troops is this? 35, 60? I cannot take him out, but I know pineapple can't take him out either, so it doesn't matter. Does it matter? Let's not attack that. We'll attack this, take away this bonus. There. Let's see what these guys want to do now. Alright, let's fortify this guy out of here just so we have uh, some troops saved. I'm sure both of them are going to attack me, but. Uh... I, both of them combined cannot take me out, so. We have five cards. We'll take out, uh, Carrot with five cards. Carrot didn't have a set on four. That's, uh, that's unlucky. And I know Pineapple cannot take out, uh, Carrot, given where his troops are positioned. We'll take out Carrot, and then we'll take out Pineapple. Carrot not having set makes this a lot faster. Yeah, for sure, it does. If Carrot had a set, he uh, definitely could have made me lose the game. But... Wow, and Carrot didn't have a set on 4. Yeah, that's super unlucky, not having a set. Alright, so I think we'll just go... We'll put everything on, the, on this 11, and just go follow this path. Take him out, and lead right into uh, Pineapple. I think Pineapple will retake his territory. Or attack me, I don't know. I'm pretty sure Pineapple will retake his territory. I really hope he takes it because that's going to make it a lot easier to string this all together. If Pineapple strings everything back together, I can take him out um, a lot easier. And that's exactly what he just did. That's a GG just based on territories. Pineapple has to split too much to get carrots or goods. Yeah. And I'm really glad that they're attacking me a lot because it takes it down a lot of natural barriers. Um. Oh wow, nine. Rip. All right. 
We're good. We could take this guy out. We'll have another turn in and uh, over. As long as I don't butcher my uh, <laughs> my routing, I think we're good. Pineapple was a beginner. Who did we take out first? Scarlet? Okay, we took out two beginners. But we did win against some intermediates, so that's cool. 2800! We went up! GG's! Nice!